What's up all you happy vapors? Today, we're gonna show you how to build this Nudge RDA. And we're gonna tell you about its features. Super exciting, huh? And uh, today, my eyewear is fun because we're all about having fun here at Vape Happy. We like to have fun and get things done. So let's check out this Nudge and put a bill in her. All right, so the Nudge RDA, here's the packaging it comes in. Look at that, that's a Watofo. So the Nudge RDA was masterminded by Watofo and Matt from Suck My Mod. Yeah, it's really cool. So let's open it up here. Oh, look at that. Look, we've got a little nudge in there. We've got 510 drip tape adapter. I don't know how to get this box out because I'm special. I swear I can see with these goggles. I swear. Uh, get some uh, get some stuff and some literature in here. You know, if you're vooping, you know, you can read this at your leisure. Um, uh, let's see, we get some comp wire. I think we're, we're gonna get some coils in here. And I feel some coils. There's some coils, but we're gonna use our coilology kit today because I know exactly what these coils are gonna do when I put them in here. I don't know what these coils are gonna do yet. But, you know, if you don't have any coils, I think we've got some spare parts in here. And then this feels like, uh, feels like some cotton. Well, that's cool. They give you a bunch of that stuff. They also get to give you this little stew driver right here. A little stew driver, it's pretty long. Very long, very long. Long bottom stew driver. That's cool. Get out of here, stew driver. All right, so let's take a look at this nudge and let's get it. Give you a couple specs on this thing. So the nudge, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. It's 24 millimeters in diameter. Has the SMM logo right here. And super beveled dual airflow slots on the aluminum cap here. These super beveled airflow slots are really good for just keeping the airflow smooth and for making sure the airflow is not turbulent and making sure there's no snakes on the plane. Up here you have an 810 drip tip. It is removable and it's actually got a double o-ring seating in it which is pretty cool and it's also got this little little it's like a, like a little seat for the 810 drip tip to sit into. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know why it's cool, but it's cool. I don't know. Can I control the pitch of my voice? I don't know. And today we're going to be putting it on this lovely RSQ mod by Rig Mod and Hot Sig. That's cool, huh? But we're not here for that today. We've already done a review or something on that, I think. Top cap super lightweight, as you can see inside. Super domed on the interior there for the flavors. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool stuff. And then here, I don't, I don't really know what we have going on here. Uh, this may or may not be, you know, one of those, what's that new trend now? You order those crazy brain teasers or something? I don't know. So this is supposed to be, or it's being called the Z style deck. I believe and that's because you have a Z here and a Z yeah a Z on each side there so a dual Z a double Z or is it a zebra I don't know uh, maybe it's a zebra I'll call it the zebra build deck but anyways I don't know if they're calling it a postless deck but it's not really a postless deck because you have these little screws here these uh, nice Phillips screws and they're going to clamp down onto your leads Pretty cool, right? But it looks pretty intimidating right off the bat there. Uh, some things that we can notice on the inside, we have a little ramp here, and that ramp is actually for when you're dripping, it'll shoot the e-liquid off into this giant behemoth of a juice well down here. It's said to be six millimeters deep, and it holds a butt ton of e-liquid. You would have to put the 510 pin in there because it actually comes installed with the squonk pin. I think they want us to squonk with it. Good thing we got our squonk mod ready. So yeah, let's get a build popped in this sucker. Let's get a build popped in this shaka. 
Uh, today we're going to be using one of my favorite coils from the Coilology kit. Uh, basically my favorite coils are around this area right here, this side of town. This little cul-de-sac right here. Yeah, those are my friends. Say hello to our staple coil friends. That's who we're going to be saying hello to today. So we got a couple of those. We'll throw those bad boys in there. Start by getting these Phillips head screws unscrewed here. Mm, yeah, those come out nice. All right, make sure we have it all the way open across the board. Make sure they're all open before you install your coil. And go ahead and put that on there. And I think what is meant to happen here is this. So we're gonna pull this lead over here. Um, like so. We're gonna pull this lead out. I think it's meant to go like that. So let's figure out the Rubik's Cube puzzle here. And I think I'm going to clip these leads just a little bit because they look a little long and gangly. So I'm going to clip them. And I'm going to clip my damn finger. All right. Clip them right about there. Work with. There we go. The post terminals have a little bit of space in between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to space out this coil. Makes it'll make it easier to install. Should make it easier. Technical difficulties. So I think these leads are still a little bit too long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clip a little bit more off here so it'll be easier to install. I'm going to clip right about there. And hopefully I don't clip too much. So I'm going to waste a coil and that's not going to be no fun. I'm going to drop this in like so. And it's not, there we go. Right, right about there. And I'll screw those down. And that's it. Move your coil over to where you want it. Right about there. Right about there looks good. We're going to transform this coil just like we did with the other one. Pull this lead out here, so just like that. And then we're going to space it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to clip the leads. Clip the leads like so. screw in there. Are you a good screw in? Uh, make sure coil is in the right place there. Voila. Look at that. Yeah, that looks nice. So you'll notice here there's these little notches here, these little indentations. And that's to make sure you can clip your leads off and you can put your top cap down on it without getting a short. Now I'm just going to go in and clip the leads here. Pretty easy to do that. Alright, so it's going to ask me, is this a new coil? Well, let's give these things a pulse. these things a nice little little scrunch here give them a little scrunch 
not the prettiest build I ever did, but whatever. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yeah, there we go. Our build's coming out to 0.14. That's what it's reading on this RSQ. And that's really nice. So the, the cool thing about this nudge is when you look at the airflow, see where the airflow slots are coming in and meeting the coils right there? Like underneath them. So it's almost like you're getting a bottom airflow experience without the leaking. I think that's pretty cool. We're gonna see if it actually translates to legit flavor in just a little bit. Next up, I'm gonna need some cotton. So I'm gonna reach into my handy dandy coilology kit once again. And I'm gonna get me this little cotton pad here, and I'm gonna cut me some cotton. Cut a nice, I like cutting thick pieces when I cut these cotton sheets. Yeah, that way you can mess with them a little bit. Make sure you get them in there nice and snug. And I always like to rip off this outer layer here. I feel like it, uh, I feel like it wicks a little bit better without this, this thick this thick outer shell has on it. All right, so we we got one sheet there, and we're gonna pull the pull the face off of this sucker right here too. Yeah, pull the face off of this sucker, like face off with John Travolta and Nick Cage. John Travolta and Nick Cage. That was a great movie, by the way. But anyways, so we'll just. Thread the loop here and pull this right through there. I like my wicks to be nice and snug in there. Snug as a bug. So give a little twist there and make sure it gets through. Boom. That side's almost done. I'll get this side started here. side through now we need to figure out how deep and this juice well is pretty deep so I'm just gonna go ahead and guess the cotton length about right there all right there all right let's tuck this cotton in and see how we did see if that's the a good length or not these, tuck them in there. Oh yeah, perfect. What do you know? I've only been doing this for like three years or something. So yeah, that looks really nice. So what you want to do is make sure that your cotton is not blocking your airflow. See how that cotton's blocking their airflow? We don't want that. We want to make sure all the airflow gets to our coils. So I'm just gonna go in here with the tweezers. Yes, this is a different pair of tweezers because I don't know if I went on the wrong. Whatever. So there we go. Make sure we're nice and clear there. Airflow is clear. And now we're gonna show you how this thing squonks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's really cool, I almost forgot to mention, you're going to see it here in a second, this Nudge RDA has a dedicated squonk channel, and so what it does is it shoots the liquid out to either side of the juice well. And that's really cool. We like to see that because that's awesome. And look at that squonk action there. Look at that. Squonking it right up. Whenever you do a build like this, you don't want to rely solely on just squonking it because it's going to take forever to, to saturate your wicks. So we're just going to drop a little bit of e-liquid on top of here so we can get it fully saturated and then we can get to vaping it and we can tell you how well the flavor is. Is it tasty? 
Is it not tasty? We're gonna find out. Mmm, smell that aroma. And we're gonna throw this top cap on here. So the airflow is adjustable, but it's only adjustable to a certain point because you'll see that the deck actually shows up there and some airflow will escape through. So really, what you wanna do here is turn it that way and that's about the most that you're gonna be able to close it off, just so you know. We're gonna try it wide open though because we love wide open airflow here at Vape Happy. Kinda. All right, let's give it a vape. Sixty-five watts, getting those coils nice and heated up. Drip tip is really comfy, by the way. Fun fact: the colored versions of this, the green, the red, and the blue, actually come with resin drip tips that kind of match and give you a little bit of matchy-matchy game with your Nudge RDA. It's got some really good flavor wide open. I'm gonna try to close it down about halfway. See if that flavor still kicks out the funky jams. That's really nice. Great flavor. Nice little squonk RDA here. Love that it comes with the squonk pin already installed, even though they didn't straight brand it as a BF RDA. Still comes with it installed out of the box. It's pretty sweet. Airflow is nice and smooth. The flavor is good. The build, it's pretty easy. Just make sure you clip those leads a little bit beforehand. So they're not all doing this and stuff because that makes it really hard to build. But if you if you trim those leads a little bit, you're in the clear. Make sure you got the screws all the way open too because that matters. I'm going to take another vape here real quick. All right. And that was the Nudge RDA by Watofo and Matt from Suck My Mod. So go ahead and grab yours today at vapehappy.com. We got them up there. So pick your favorite, grab it, snag it, nudge it, build it, wick it, squonk it. Vape Malone, out. Is anybody gonna take me seriously with these, you know, these Wonka goggles?